Mrs. Thomas. Six minutes, please. Thank you. Um, Ms. Gardner, thank you for your opening remarks and, and for taking the time to be with us here today. Um, my first question, I guess, just to set the record, is I'm just curious as to whether or not uh, you have received any sort of sponsorship or monetary <laughs> um, contribution from any of the platforms. Uh, no, I have not. I'm a completely independent voice. I uh, used to be on the CBC payroll until 2007, but since 2007, I have taken no money from anybody tangentially, potentially, definitely at all involved in C18. Okay, thank you. Um, in your opening remarks, you referred to Bill C18 creating what you termed a, a link tax. Um, and you talked about how assigning value to certain links over others potentially changes the entirety of the internet and the way that it functions. Um, you said that it lends to the potential commercialization of the internet. You said that this would be a gradual change, but make no mistake, it, it would in fact occur. Um, do you care to expand on that a little bit? Sure, yeah, I can. Um, so. In my opinion, the debates about whether C18 literally constitutes a link tax are kind of hair splitting. They're a little bit beside the point. The whole basis of the legislation is the notion that making available material or facilitating access to it is taking value from the party that made the thing. And that notion flies in the face of the entire internet because the entire internet is built on the concept of linking, sharing, annotating, commenting, building on the work of others. And that is what make the, makes the internet fantastic. There are limits to that. We do have copyright law, but there is no need and it is not beneficial to take the position that linking or making available is taking value because it's not. I know that people tend to dislike the phrase breaks the internet and I dislike it too because it always sounds like hyperbole and I am not trying to say that if this bill becomes law, the internet is immediately different or immediately broken, but it is consistent with breaking the internet and it is a step on the road to breaking the internet. I would like to urge the committee to take a long view on this. The internet is still quite young. It's gonna be with us for a long time. And I think that actions that we take today that may seem small and of little consequence will shape it and will shape how it develops in ways that I think we could come to regret. And this is one of those ways. Mm -hmm. are, are, are you able to break that down a, a little bit more? Um, so so if, if, if a value is ascribed to links, uh, news links in this case, um, it kind of opens the door for value to then be ascribed to other links, um, which then, yes, could lead to the commercialization of the internet. Um, Right now within television, you know, we have cable packages, which of course people are moving away from because they're wanting, you know, more choice. And so they're going, they're going towards other options. Um, but if the internet goes down this path where you're ascribing value to certain links, could it eventually go down a slippery slope of landing us in a place where you're essentially, you are having to pay for a package of certain links that you have access to, but maybe you don't have access to other links. Like, I, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around where does this eventually take us in terms of commercialization of the internet and giving monetary value to links? Right, and I think, I think what it does is it creates the condition in which it could be, as you say, applied to other forms of information, other forms of knowledge. Um, I, I don't know that it would it would go down a cable television kind of road where you'd be buying pack, consumers would be buying packages. I, when I think about the commercialization, what I think more about is the idea that the internet, what what is shown to you, what is given to you, is fueled by commercial deals and money changing hands mm. in backroom corporate decision making that you don't know about, right? And so what you would be seeing would be commercially motivated and it might be for good, it might be not for good, you wouldn't have any control over it. Whereas today, and certainly in the origins of the internet, things were not at, were not commercially motivated at all in the beginning, right? Um, and and we are, we are on a road where potentially that changes. And I do think that that breaks a lot of what is special about the internet. Okay, thank you. Um, one, of the, one of the things that uh, the minister has claimed with this legislation is that it's based on quote, market-based solutions. Um, but the bill would actually ensure that the CRTC or the government intervenes significantly within the sphere of, of news um, and the bargaining process that would, that would take place um, between intermediaries. And so 
I, I guess I'm just wondering if you can comment on the consequences of this being the case. I, I feel like in some ways this, this, this bill is the worst of both worlds, right? I think the minister has says, said that he doesn't want to be in the middle between um, the news organizations and the platforms. But I think the truth is, if, if the government has policy objectives, it, it is in the middle. You kind of can't escape being in the middle. And so this is trying to do it, like I said, in a way in which it's kind of trying to force the platforms to play a funder role and to sort of give them criteria and things that they need to um, ensure happen. But that's not the correct role for a private sector entity, right? If you're trying to make policy, if you're trying to make... 31 quality, seconds. If you're trying to make quality journalism available to Canadians, there are more straightforward ways to do that than trying to do it in this way where you're intervening in the market, but, but, but from a sideways kind of perspective. I'm not sure that was very articulate. I hope it helps. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Ms. Thomas. So you have, I think you have ended your time.